the prophet reiterated that. But who was giving the title of the Khalif? Nabi Isa was known as Ruhu the spirit of Allah. But Muhammad, Allah, oh, no. Muhammad, Habibullah, the beloved. And he always speaks about the love, meaning if you want my love, first go through the door of my beloved, Muhammad. So, and then you will arrive. Subhanallah, my respected brothers and sisters in Islam. If we look at following the Prophet, Islam is Islam the sum total of our religion. It's not just Islam. Most of us, you know, we were taught this in the Majessa that you know there's Islam, Iman, but not much was elaborated, not much was given in terms of what, what is the real significance of these three levels or these three formations that takes, that gives the sum total of our religion. Because we know the beautiful hadith of, it's called the Gabriel hadith, where Jibreel alayhi salam comes and asks the Prophet alayhi salatu salam, Ya Muhammad, man Islam, what is Islam? And remember, he didn't come in the form of uh, or he came in the form of a human being, but no one knew that it was Jibreel. Only after, as Sayyidina Umar records this in Sahih Muslim and Bukhari, that it was when he left the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to the Sahih, Ata'anamuna man hada. Do you know who was this that just came? Because they were amazed, this man, he comes out of the out of the desert, and usually when you come out of the direction of the desert, there are signs of dust on your clothes and your hair is no longer, you know, uh, you know, uh, in a good perm. So this man comes and everything is fine. There is no sign. There are no signs of dust. And he comes straight to the Prophet and he calls the Prophet by his name, alayhi salatu salam. Ya Muhammad, akhbirni an Islam. Tell me about Islam. What is Islam? Because Islam literally means submission to the will of God, right? So he says, and the Prophet says, Al Islam wa Tashala Allah ilaha illa wa anna. Of course, we know the five pillars that you should bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger, and to keep up the prayer and to fast and to do the zakah, and also, of course, to believe in the year after. Uh, um, uh, sorry, and to perform the Hajj. And then he says, Woman, and whenever the Prophet would give him the answer, would say, he would say, What? Sadaqa ya Muhammad. Have spoken the truth and said, I'm Muslim. And we were amazed at this man. And he would ask the Prophet, Ali Sallallahu tell me what is Iman? Inform me about Iman, which simply means faith or belief. And the Prophet answered, To believe in all of these things, that is Iman. Because Iman deals with what is on the inside, if you may have noticed. All of that has to do with the heart. To believe in Allah, in his messengers, in his books. The first was about the outer, that is Islam. So Islam is the form, the body. Iman is like the heart, the container. Tell me what is Ihsan? Ihsan literally means excellence, or excellence of worship. And the Prophet answered and he said, Al-Ihsan and ta'abud Allah ka'annaka tarahu to worship Allah as if you see him fa'in lam takun tarahu fa'innahu ihsan but if you cannot, if you have not reached that maqam that level, then remember and know well that he sees you right? so that is called the state of vigilance of muraqaba right? so the first state is that of muhasaba that is Islam and then the second state is muraqaba and the third state is mushahada, to worship Allah as if you see him. Now, this is very interesting because often, you know, we speak of Islam just as a whole. Islam is by title Islam, but it contains, it's almost like when you speak about uh, Islam and, 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 for example, Ihsan and Iman, it is like the butter that is hidden in the milk. Do you see the butter in the milk? No, but only after the churning. The rigorous journey, what happens? The butter will appear. Mm. So, really, if you look at Iman and Ihsan, it's the essence of Islam. It is Islam par excellence. It is Islam itself, subhanAllah. So, this is what we need to understand about this beautiful verse. The verse says, Follow me. But follow me in what? 
follow me in my Islam, my Iman, my Ihsan. And like I said, if we consider the fact, the fact that Islam, Iman, Islam is like the Sharia. Because everything in the Sharia is what we have to follow in terms of its actions, right? And what is Iman? Iman is when we apply the Sharia, but we apply it with Mahabba, with love. So one could say that the definition, according to what Moshe has told me, he says, if someone were to ask you what is Iman, you say Iman is Islam or Sharia plus love. Why? Allah Ta'ala, the Prophet himself, he makes this clear, he says, Ala la imana liman la mahabbata. Behold, because Allah is what we refer to in Arabic as kalimatu at tamdeen. It means, you know, it is, it is a, a, a kind of a letter, uh, an expression that wants your attention. Allah, like alas or behold, Allah, la imana liman la mahabbata. There is no Iman for the one who has no love. So you cannot claim to have Iman if you don't have Mahabba. So, in, so Iman is the Maqam, the level of Mahabba, where you worship Allah Subhanahu with so much love. SubhanAllah. Your desire is that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala increases that love for you because you're worshipping Him, not because you want His paradise or you're afraid of the Jahannam. No, you, have, you worship Him because out of love for the Beloved. That is Iman. And really, you, you will find even in the Quran, there are many verses where Allah Ta'ala speaks of this Iman and Mahabba something. Like Allah says, O Mina Nazi, may you take it and do me like and daddy. Allah says, There are <coughs> amongst people, there are people, they take as objects of worship besides Allah and daddy, meaning they like, like for things that we naturally love. Like our children, our wives, our wealth, our property. It's nothing wrong because it is halal. But Allah Ta'ala says, يُحِبُّونَهُمْ كَحُبِّ اللَّهِ But they love these things as they ought to love Allah. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Don't you believe it? Not وَالَّذِينَ أَسْلَمُوا وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ But those who have attained to Iman, Allah says, they are the strongest in their love for God. For Allah. Why? Because we have a jealous Allah. Allah created us for him. Allah says, Ya Ibn Adam, O children of Adam, خلقتك, uh, Everything I created for you, the dunya, the akhirah, the jannah, everything I created for you, but you are created for me. This is the jealous Allah that we have. So Allah says, yes, we love all these things. But, Allah says, but for the believer, he says, no. Allah comes first. I love my wife, but I will say to her, I love you for Allah. Meaning, I love you, but Allah comes first. SubhanAllah. So, this is our, you know, understanding of this ayah. May Allah Ta'ala grant us more of this, inshaAllah. But like I said, that is only the second level. And what is Ihsan? Ihsan is the maqam which Allah Subhanahu has given to his prophets and to his saints, to his awliya. Because they have reached the level whereby they no longer see anything but Allah because they see the reality of the ayah. فَإِنَّ مَا تُوَلِّي Wherever you may turn, there is the face of Allah. Meaning, His divine presence. And they are never, and this is the hal, this was the state of the Prophet. He was never far away from His beloved. Always with the beloved. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us Take whatever we can, take our share from these words, inshallah. I'm not saying that we have we are going to all arrive there, but this is just an expression of how we need to understand the, uh, the our Islam in totality because it is the final religion and it must have all of these things.